Theater in New Brunswick. It's going to look a little bit different next time you're there. Our John Bathke shows us the new look for one of New Jersey's oldest theaters. It's not quite a birthday party, but as the State Theater turns 100 years old, it is getting a fresh look. I want people to remember how elegant and wonderful it is to go to live performance. I want them to feel safe. Sarah Chaplin is president and CEO of the nonprofit, which began this renovation while closed for the pandemic. New chairs and carpet in the 1800 seat auditorium. For the first time, an elevator was installed. A remodeled lobby, upgraded HVAC system, among other improvements. Now, it's about bringing entertainment back to the stage. Once we have an audience in here for the first time, this Friday actually, it will all come together and, and feel right. State theater began as a vaudeville and movie house, eventually falling into disrepair, then restored in the 1980s. Prime mid orchestra. Prime this $24 million renovation was funded by donors and Middlesex County. While the theater is looking to the future, it is also honoring its past. Tonight for special guests, it is screening White Oak, the silent movie that was playing here when the State Theater opened 100 years ago. In New Brunswick, John Bathke, News 12, New Jersey. The theater is going to require vaccination or negative tests for audience members, and it's also bought new security screeners to minimize contact as a result of COVID.